Hare Krishna. Question How are Buddhism and Jainism different from Mayavada? Answer They are entirely different schools of thought. Mayavad takes the Vedic scriptures, especially the Vedantic texts, and it interprets it in a way that supports its claim that the absolute truth is one non-differentiated oneness, is a non utterly non-differentiated oneness. So, <clears throat> it is a misunderstanding of the Vedantic, Vedic Vedantic uh, under with teaching and it emerged from within the Vedic school as a misunderstanding whereas Buddhism and Jainism uh, were rebels basically they rejected the Vedic school of thought but they did uh, adopt within themselves certain principles of culture uh, certain cultural and conceptual principles from the school of thought that they rejected so Buddhism and Jainism, historically speaking, they were reactions to the discriminatory caste system and that's that they rejected, the, relatively speaking, rejected the caste system and that's how they got a lot of followers. At, uh, further, if we see, uh, they were focused primarily uh, not so much on philosophy as on conduct. So... Buddha himself often was quite evasive in answering philosophical questions. So once he was asked, "So am I different? Are you am I different from the body?" He said, "We um, don't answer anything. He just stayed silent. Am I the same as the body?" This is the questioner asked him, and he again remained silent. And that person just went away in half, thinking, not satisfied. And then the disciples asked Buddha. Buddha said that you know he was at a level of consciousness at which he could not have understood either answer. That's why I stayed silent. So Buddha, if we see his approach was more of pragmatic in terms of he said, conduct yourself properly. So proper conduct was foundational to Buddhism and uh, the schools of thought, especially the, the conceptualization of ultimate reality, that is something which came much later within Buddhism from uh, subsequent thinkers. So, Buddhism is, uh, ideologically speaking, it, it, Buddha himself did not focus too much on ideology. His focus was primarily on conduct. And Jainism to some extent, extent is similar, where the focus was not on ideology, but was on conduct, on being, being gentle, being compassionate, being, uh, uh, being not attached to this world and its great enjoyment too much. Mm. And living in regulation that way. So that's why we see even now that, especially with respect to Jainism, that culturally speaking, uh, the Jains are often very similar to the Vaishnavas in the sense that Jains can, uh, the, the, the Jains also uh, follow many of the principles culturally that the Vaishnavas follow, and that's why devotees often they can get relatively pure food in Jain messes, and in that way we can recognize broadly the cultural similarities and Buddhism also, at least Buddhism as it was practiced for many centuries in India and elsewhere it was more or less a sattvic way of life without any stress on ideological uh, ideology much but, but over a period of time both these schools of thought have developed their own ideologies and their ideologies are not just non-Vedic they are called within the traditional school of thought as Nastic because they reject the Vedas. But subsequently, they went forward and rejected even the uh, within the within conceptions of God. So, of course, Jains they often have temples where they have gods. But their idea is that by worshiping these gods, ultimately one will go beyond this whole conception of God, and one will attain um, some kind of uh, cessation from misery. So the so whereas Advaitavad makes a claim, now with respect to uh, ideological conceptions as Advaitavad exists to, uh, today, it makes a claim that the absolute truth is non-differentiated oneness. Whereas, and this, it tries to base this claim on, the, on, its, uh, on its own interpretation of Vedic Vedantic school of thought. Whereas the 
Buddhism and, Jain, Buddhism and Jainism rejects, uh, focuses more on practical conduct and rejects uh, the Vedas and with subsequent uh, ideological development it comes up with a uh, rejection of uh, almost uh, all conceptions of higher spiritual reality and therefore the, their conception is of some kind of uh, cessation of existence at, at least at a material level so that there so there is no personal understanding of the absolute truth and in that sense the conception of the absolute truth is very sketchy but uh, to the extent that they recognize that this world is a place of bondage and that one needs to go beyond this world to that extent both buddhism jainism uh, then advaitavad and vaishnavism are similar mm, but beyond that just like say different schools of thought in the students may study till 10th or even 12th more or less the same till 10th they may study the same subjects in india and then afterwards some may go towards physics some may go to art some towards commerce some towards science so like that there are some basics which are similar in these schools of thought but with respect to the conceptualization of the absolute truth <laughs> there are substantial differences between uh, the these schools of thought thank you hare krishna